When it gets colder, this has got to get hotter. Biff, pow, zap, clunk, clunk, ouchie. Hey guys, I just wanted to do a very quick winter update about my enclosure heater design. For those of you who have already given it a go, or for those of you who have given it some thought, this video will be particularly useful. In the release video, I made careful mention not to use a bulb with a wattage greater than 25. In fact, I even incorporated this into the design of the housing. Now, I did this as safety is an obvious concern, and I don't want any of you guys getting hurt. So I very much erred on the side of caution. But of course, in this hemisphere at least, it's winter now. Many of you have written to me on this subject, and I've tried, where possible, to personally reply. So doing this quick video made a lot of sense. The other day, for instance, it was just 11 degrees Celsius in my workshop, which is almost a third of the ideal temperature for 3D resin printing. And I'm not going to lie, a 25 watt halogen bulb inside the heater just wouldn't cut it. So, a few weeks ago now, I swapped my 25 watt bulb for a 50 watt bulb. And for me, this has worked. In a small enclosure, the ambient temperature has risen in about an hour, and I've been able to print without issue. The question is, should you do the same? Unfortunately, I can't answer this for you. I was happy with my choice of resin which was the Eligu Thermochromic variety. This even changes colour at 50 degrees Celsius, so I'm confident it can handle the few extra degrees difference that a 50 watt bulb will make. However, I can't be certain what you print with. Maybe you went with a resin I've never heard of, or maybe you even used PLA. For that reason, all I can do is urge caution. If you're going to do this, keep a very close eye on things, particularly in the first use. Make sure that nothing sags, cracks or smells strange, so think of my mother-in-law. And if it does, stop using the larger bulb immediately. It's not worth the risk. Furthermore, after each use, inspect the heater when disconnected from the mains, and make sure it hasn't become brittle or weakened. In truth, I'm just guessing at possible outcomes here, guys, as I haven't experienced any of these issues personally. And I really don't want you to either. I have heard back from a few folks who, like me, have now switched to 50 watt bulbs. And things seem to be going fine for them as well. But I have no idea how differing brands of resin behave at different temperatures. And we don't want any nasty incidents so please, caution is key. I will remind you that it is not a fast heater. It will take an hour or so to heat up the whole enclosure, and in honesty, the smaller the enclosure, the better the results. If you're making your own enclosure, measure everything and give at least one inch extra clearance all around to let the air circulate. So yes, it's possible to pack a little more punch with your enclosure heater by stepping up to a 50 watt halogen bulb. It's worked for me and for others, and hopefully it should work for you. But do this at your own risk, guys, and please play carefully. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Take care, and thanks for watching.